Margarita, I am so excited to connect with you. You're someone that I've had such a blessing helping in your path to creating the kind of life and the kind of love that you want. And uh, I'm, I'm just so blessed to have a conversation with you right now when so much has happened since we first started working together. And the first thing I'd like to say is welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to doing this. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, can I tell you how excited I am <laughs> about doing this today? Um, you know, when I first met you, you know, and I started seeing all these like testimonial type of uh, videos that you had, yeah. uh, like maybe one of these days, maybe who knows, you know, <laughs> that'll be me on the other side. But, and so now I see myself able to do something like this and it's um, very humbling. I so, love it. So well, let me start by from the beginning. And the first question that I have for you is, can you describe to to the people, the women who are watching right now, uh, what was the what was going on in your life in terms of pain that led you to reach out and say, hey, maybe can we work together to create this new reality for my life? Well, uh, from what I remember <laughs> was that at that time I had gone uh, through a couple of painful um, breakups, the latest one being very, very painful. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I thought to myself, you know, something has to give, there's something here that's not clicking. I'm not doing this right. I'm, you know, there's something not right about this. Um, I was always just very sad. Um, I was that one, lady watching um, the Hallmark sappy romantic movies on Saturdays, locking myself in my house and doing that all all day and just crying and wondering why, you know, why I couldn't be that person there on the on the movie. <laughs> um, so I wanted my own Hallmark movie, you know, <laughs> and and I just was wondering why. But then really, I just want to be happy. I didn't necessarily think, oh, I need to have a relationship to be happy, you know. I just wanted to be happy, period, you know. Mostly for my son. I wanted his, my son to have a, a happy mom. Hmm. Um, and really, it was just something that I said, you know, I, I you spend money in my line of work. We do professional development all day long. Hmm. Um, many times we pray for conferences out of pocket, all these things that we spend money on. Um, and I said, you know, we don't even think twice about paying for professional development. Yeah. Um, but what about my personal life, you know? And I said, I need help. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Um, and I just started watching your videos and there you were. And I was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> maybe, you know? Yes. I <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> I love it. So, what when we we, you, you, we we had this conversation, you took took a leap of faith and said, "Let's do this." And uh, can you tell me now? Once you started the work, it wasn't easy. And that's one thing I make sure on every testimonial that I highlight because I, the last thing I want to 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 share is like uh, the illusion that this is just like a magic wand where you connect with me, I give you a couple of lessons, and you find the love of your life. It was really hard, but in that hard process it was fun and hard a combination of things you experienced a, a, a few different transformations a few different breakthroughs that led you to the kind of life that you have right now can you do you remember what a couple of those most important breakthroughs were that led you to the experience that you're having today uh, on a very practical way yeah. um, I learned how to date <laughs> I didn't know how to date <laughs> I didn't know so what, what does that mean people. I was one of those people that um, you just met somebody mm -hmm. via whatever, and that's the person you focused on, and that's the person you dated, mm -hmm. and that's it, you know? Yeah. Um, I learned how to ask questions. That I, I mean, there were times that, I, you know, I would hear you say, oh, well, you can ask this question, I'm, and I was just stunned. I was like, oh, you can actually ask? <laughs> <laughs> that's how yes you can have that type of question a conversation you know yeah. and so that really in that practical way it, it helped me to to better my communication skills mm -hmm. 
not just with men, but with, you know, people around me, um, in my personal life, you know, my, my family and friends, um, and even with people I work at with, even the, the, the people I work with. Um, yeah. so, so yes, that on a practical level. At the emotional level, tell me what, what's a breakthrough that you experienced emotionally that made a big difference in your ability to attract the kind of man you have in your life right now, but more than that, to attract the kind of experience you have about yourself and, and the way you feel about who you are. I stopped being so closed off. Hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm now able to, to see a stranger and actually have a conversation, you know, okay. um, because before I was very close up, I was very, you know, I put my head down and did, you know, went to go buy my groceries and, you know, and now, you know, um, but I do find joy in little things mm -hmm. where before I didn't, I didn't feel like they were there or I didn't feel like I should, mm. you know, yeah. but now I, I give myself freedom to see little, little joys in, in little things and actually express myself, you know, and actually, you know, Oh, Hey, you know, like, like someone I could see a stranger and, and say, Oh, hi, oh, I really like that skirt, you know, something like that, that before I didn't. Okay, you know, so you're I'm more expressive in, in, in and there's I'm very, less yes. filters between the inside and the outside. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so okay, and so I'm tell me, tell me this. What 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 do you feel, Margarita? Where was maybe a what was maybe the biggest misconception you have about yourself that through the process of finding the one, the one is the one inside basically. You yeah. were able to to discover that made maybe surprised you in some way or or gave you some level of experience and joy that you didn't think was possible? Um, I did not think that for the longest time, I didn't think that I was feminine enough. Mm. Because I guess throughout my life, the things that I have done, the careers that I have been in, they're very male oriented. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had to put that away and I guess I put it away. Um, and I discovered the, the feminine side and, and it was so liberating for you when, when we spoke about, about, you know, in that time when we were learning about that, when you said, you know, you can have both, you know, <laughs> you don't have to be one or the other at work. If you need to dip into those masculine traits to, you know, make, make sure you know stuff gets done you do that but you don't have to carry that over to your personal life you know and i'm like oh wait what you know <laughs> i don't have to have you know i don't have to be all manly you know with my man you know i don't have to do that <laughs> wonderful you know um so i i found the balance okay. i was able to find the balance of and i i'm pra i practice more and I continue to practice so that I'm able to dip into both mm. when I need it. And I find it easier to go into my fem feminine, um, you know, if the if the situation calls for it. <laughs> okay, well, tell me this: what, how, what role the the you connecting more? It's not that you found your feminine; you let go of some of the things that you were doing that allow yeah. that from the inside to shine through to the outside. What? role do you think that realization and that embodiment had in your ability to create a the best connection you've had arguably with a man uh, in your life I always thought the feminine traits were weaknesses mm. so I saw what you this often described as feminine traits mm -hmm. you know I would stand back and say that's Mm -mm, nope, not doing that. You know, I'm <laughs> that's weak. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not smiling. I'm not doing this. I'm not shining. I'm not gonna be this. And, uh, oh, oh, what? And stand back and and you know and receive? Oh no, you know. And in the relationship I am, I have found that that's what he likes the most. Like, you know, that's what he likes. That's what really attracts him to me. You know. Even though he, and, and he said it to me before that 
I, I seem like a very strong woman, especially, you know, particularly when I am showing that vulnerability, mm-hmm. you know, showing the openness and the genuine and, and all those, you know, feminine traits. So, so I'm, so, yeah. So I have found strength in that. And I noticed that others see it as strength and not weaknesses. So I was, I was um, mistaken. All this time about that. Well, tell me now that you, you brought this up. We, we were talking about this. T- tell me about your man. Tell me more about him, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, ha- I never thought that I would meet someone like him. Um, I always had an idea of who I wanted. Actually, during our work together, at one point you asked us to write, you know, the five top 10 traits um, of, of, of who we wanted, what we wanted in a man. And I, you know, I did, because I, I would do my homework because it was hard work and I would do my homework. And I would do that, I did that. And recently I had, I found that list and I read it over. I read over, and I realized that he has all those qualities, those ten qualities that I asked for, or that I wanted, you know. Um, and it's just so funny because I don't think without you having met him, had I not had been working with you when I met him, I don't think I would have been interested. You know what I mean? Because I was so mistaken about masculine feminine you know oh no you know man has to be you know i come from the latin community or latin culture and there's a lot of machismo in it mm-hmm. so i had the wrong idea of what a man was supposed to look like or be like mm-hmm. and through working with you i realized that's that was all wrong i had the wrong idea of what a man was supposed to be mm-hmm. you know and he could not be more in his masculine with me, you know? So tell me a couple of things that, that he does that, that excite you, that make you feel really happy and grateful to be with him. Oh goodness, I, I finally feel like I have someone by my side hmm. um, in my craziness and my expressiveness and this and that, I still ha- I have this person that's, who's a rock. Who's doesn't doesn't you know he stands by my expressiveness you know he doesn't falter he doesn't falter he's not scared by, by your he's goodness. not at all <laughs> he actually loves it you know mm-hmm. and and he's not scared at all and it's just so so comforting to have that you know and and then he's passionate but he's passionate at the same time mm-hmm. about life you know, and and so he is everything that I wanted and then more, you know, trustworthy and, and just, and he's a good, great dad and, you know. Yeah. So, well, yes. Talking about dads, well, and moms, tell me what this change, because the change that we we're, we're talking about right now for someone is like, well, she found a guy, great. It's much more than that. I mean, it's you finding yourself, it's you expressing yourself differently, it's you feeling your life with more excitement and and aliveness and uh, vulnerability and, and strength of a different kind. So in, in you not just finding this amazing love who supports you, but you finding yourself in ways that you hadn't, uh, what has been the effect of that on your son? Um, Fernando, that's my son. Yeah. He has said that, mommy, you know, I like this. I like you. I, you're just so happy now, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's really what I wanted ultimately, you know? I wanted to be the happy mom. I wanted to be, you know, but I, thanks to the work that I've done with you, again, I'm able to communicate things with him. I'm, I'm able to communicate in a way that he understands. So the, the way that I even used to discipline him, I don't do that those things anymore. You know, I'm able to actually sit down and talk and listen and 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 
And so it has made my, my parenting easier okay. because he responds to it. So, it's, so it's, your cup is more full, so there's a different kind of energy to give out. You're not so stressed, you're not so short. Right. You can be present in ways, I guess, that because there's an overflow of certain things in your life right now right. that you can extend to him. Right, and, and if I'm not, and if I am stressed, I say it. <laughs> I say, you know what, Fernando, I'm mommy stressed, you know, right now. <laughs> oh, okay, mommy, you know. And you run for the hills. <laughs> Yeah, no, or he'll, okay, mommy, you know, and he'll actually do what I've asked. Okay. You know, thank you, you know, thank you so much. And, and, and if I see him that he's stressed, I have a feeling, my intuition, I pay attention to my intuition a lot more now. And for example, if I see him stressed, something tells me, okay, you, okay, stop trying to fix it. Stop trying to fix whatever he's, he's going through. Just ask him. It just seems like he needs a hug, for example. Fernando, do you need a hug? <sighs> yes, mommy. You know? Mm -hmm. You know? And and I and that's an example. Like I hug and and then he's able to okay, okay, this is what's going on. You know, like he's able to continue on with what I've asked him. Mm -hmm. But he's had that and I didn't do that. Like I would say, like, why what why are we why are you upset? Why are you upset? You shouldn't be upset. There's nothing to be upset about, you know. Yeah. But now I, I step back and I listen to my motherly instinct, I guess, hmm. or my intuition and, and, and respond and act hmm. in the way that I, I feel like he might need. And I have found that he responds to that, you know, Hello. and responds well. Oh. Yes. Yes, my baby. Uh, I have one more <laughs> question for you, Margarita, and that's uh, one question I have is, uh, a lot of women at the end, we have, we have a conversation. I, I consciously choose to have a conversation with every single human being I bring into my uh, coaching program because I want to make sure we're both an ideal fit. And I've had women who are on one end of the spectrum, the most challenging end of the spectrum, on food stamps who decide to do it even though it's not cheap. And I've had women who are well off, even seven figures, who say it's too much for them and don't do it. In your specific case, you weren't swimming in cash necessarily, basically, when, when we decided to do this, but you still decided to say, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this for myself. So what would you say right now? Imagine someone watching right now saying, well, that's great for her. She found her love and I don't know if it can happen for me. Maybe this is just bullshit. Uh, what would you say to someone who's really scared of making this jump, but making the jump might make the lifetime of difference between her finding what she wants in herself and in a man or staying stuck in a place where she's watching uh, soap operas and, and metaphorically speaking, you know, uh, and about the life she doesn't have, what would you say to her? Well, initially the reason that I um, chose to work with someone was because I felt I needed, something had to change. Whatever I was doing in the past, it was not working. So I needed somebody to help me. And then I saw all the YouTube videos, not just you, all the other people. Um, on there, uh, coaches, I guess, or relationship advice. Yeah. And and I was like, but there was something about you, and, and and like your energy, like hit me in the face. Your positive energy and your, you know, genuineness. It just it just came out of the you know the screen. And I'm like, hmm, you know. And then I remember that one day, you were saying it was one of your videos, and then you said the F word, and I'm like, I need to work with. <laughs> Is it? I need to work with him because anybody that real that will say something like that, sure. you know, I just, you were very real. So I was like, that's what I need. I need somebody in my face to tell me, listen, you know, and you did not disappoint um, in that sense, you know, and, and um, you were very real. You were like, listen, this is what it needs to happen, you know, and, and, but at the same time, what I so appreciated about you was the fact that you, I, I saw you as a mo model for the type of man that I wanted. Hmm. Why do I say that? Because you had this utmost respect and admiration for what it meant to be a woman. What woman, the word stood for. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And I got that from you. And then working with you, I, I was like, oh yes, I wasn't wrong. And so I needed that role model. I needed, I needed, you know, um, that kick in the, you know, but. Kick in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 
I needed that, but at the same time, you were very respectful. I always felt like you were on my team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even when you were like kicking me in the ass, you know, yeah. and telling me, listen, you're, mm, look, mm, stop with the whatever, your words. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would sense that you did it. I never thought that you were disrespectful. I never thought that you, I always, I was knew you were very, you admire women, what it means to be a woman, you know? And I think that's what helped me so much, you know? You know what I mean? Yes, like, I never you. saw that. <laughs> I had never seen that. So, so that helped me a lot, you know? And, and so what would I say to a woman who's doing, who wants, who's on the fence, right? Yeah. Um, well, you know, like I said in the beginning, we are just so quick to spend our money on material things. Oh, I want this car. Okay, let me go get it, you know? Or if we're for work, you know, professional development, you you know, we, we're like, oh, well, we need that because we need that so we can get more money, so we can get the training, so we can get more money. But I just would say to the person, think about yourself as the investment. You know what I mean? You're worthy of the investment. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, just like your job or your position is worthy of you bettering yourself, your personal life, your kids, if you have any, your, you know, your family, your friends, they're worthy of a better you, you see? And, and that's what I would say and make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to do sacrifices, yes. you know, and I got things. You know, I had to reevaluate my budget. There were many times that I said, wait a minute, I need to reevaluate my budget this month. Hold on one second before yeah. I, and, and I, and you know, I would have to re sit down and reevaluate, you know, but there's always money. Where if you want something, you can get it. Yeah. So <laughs> if, do you really want this? That's what you need to find out. I love it. Really want I love it, man. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for not just the time right now but for every step of the way showing up with so much courage enthusiasm with so much hunger for change and also so much vulnerability as saying an example not just for your children and for your family but for all the women that were side by side with you in this process uh my heart yeah. goes out to you for 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 being here and for and just for being the example that you are i'm so grateful that i've gotten a chance to connect with you and know you and and I admire you for all that you've created, you know, along this path. And can I say something? Please do. <laughs> Those women in my group. <laughs> um, that's the one thing that helped me so much that I was able to learn from them. Mm -hmm. Because there were many times that I didn't know that I had a question yeah. that they asked. And so that helped me so much. It's like, you know, you help just being there and, ha and learning from them as well yeah. was amazing you know to know that i wasn't the only one dealing with all these situations <laughs> you know that that i wasn't alone that was huge you know and i don't know i'm just so happy that i made this choice you know to work with you and yes i met a wonderful wonderful man who i never thought i would ever meet but as wonderful as he is and as happy as I am with him, he is, but just one part, mm -hmm. you know, like the big, huge thing is that I found myself. I found my strength again. Mm -hmm. I found my self-esteem, Yeah. you know, yeah. my sense of worth. So you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, I'm, I'm almost done and I haven't cried. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, oh. I just, I'm very, I'm very thankful to have met someone like you. Thank you so much. And, and uh, I, I hope to hear from you in the near future as more and more greatness happens in your life. Uh, and you will because I'm going to Italy. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to ask about that. Yes. <laughs> One last thing, just the bonus on the icing on the cake here. Uh, 
tell, tell us, just share that one bit of the story, please, about, about the Italy trip. Because this wonderful man listens. I didn't never, I didn't think in the beginning that he was listening to anything that I said. Yeah. And then, and then it was one of the questions that, that I, that I asked that I didn't realize I could ask that you said, yes, you can have that conversation. You can ask that because I, I felt that he wasn't listening because he wouldn't ask me questions back. Like yeah. I would say, and you know, I would ask all these questions, you know, and he wouldn't ask, you know, and I just got a sense that he wasn't listening to anything that I was saying. So I went to you and I said, listen, he's not listening. And you said, well, you know, you can, um, you know, have that conversation and say, hey, listen, you know, when I'm, when we're talking, I just have a sense that you're not. So that's what I did, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yes, I'm listening to everything you say. I n know that your grandfather's name was this. And I only mentioned my, my grandfather maybe twice, like within like, a like past a month before that. I couldn't remember he remembered his name. Because it's not like John, it was, you know, a complicated Latin name, <laughs> you know. And he remembered that name and he remembered all these things that I had said that I never thought that he was paying attention to. And even said to me, I, I also know that when you tilt your head, this is how you feel. When you blink twice, this is what you're thinking. <laughs> you know, like even the smallest little things about me, he, he saw. You know, and so in many conversations, I just kind of happened to maybe mention once or twice that Italy was my my dream, you know, because we had, you know, you talk about travel many times, you know, at the beginning. And oh, yes, Italy, Italy is like my dream place to go to, you know, and left that at that, you know, I mean, who doesn't have that type of conversation, right? And wow, well, towards the end of March, um, he surprised me with a trip to Italy. <laughs> and so I'm off to Italy, y'all. <laughs> in a in a month and a week. Yes, in That's about a month and a week. Wow. I'm off to Italy. Hmm. I I just you know I'm so, so happy for you, and I, and I so I, I I hope to get some uh, a postcard or or at least some pictures on on, on your Facebook uh, about it, oh, yes. and oh, and yes. we'll get a chance to reconnect after the trip and, and talk all about it. Okay. <laughs> Love you so much, my friend, and 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 Thank so you. grateful to connect with you. Thank you. Likewise. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>